All right, straight ahead, we get to this most anticipated middleweight championship fight between Ronaldo Souza and the American gangster, Chael P. Sonnen. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Westland, Oregon, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, champion. And now, if you see his opponent fighting out of the red corner, this man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 26 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Ronaldo Jacare Souza! This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. They touch him up, man. We are underway. Here we go. First round, you ready? You ready? Let's all right, go. here we go. UFC middleweight championship fight. This should be good. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, effective strike there by Sonnen. Caught him with a punch. Oh, a huge block there. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. That one hurt. Watch the shot here, Joe. Look at that nasty jab. That's Hit him hard hook. with that hook. Oh, how many more can he take, Joe? Another massive hook shot. Nice punch by Sosa. He blocks the punch. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Hard uppercut. Jacare gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Oh, vicious ground and pound from the top. Full guard here. He's got half guard. That punch will work right through the guard. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Nice shot to the head. Side control again. Back up to his feet. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Souza. Tags him. Oh. 
doing an excellent job blocking here. Nice jab by Jacare Sosa there. Good shot. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. 45 seconds remain in the round. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Oh, he's getting some hip into that one. Shot is blocked there by Sosa. Now he goes for the single leg. Back to over under control. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look at it again here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany Palmer with us. All right, let's get to round two. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Oh, this could be it right here. Oh! Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix oh! it. Oh! Nice hammer fist. Tries to pass from full guard to half guard, but can't. Big body shot, shot. To the body. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Gets up again here, but Hurton blocks the shot. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feel. Oh, oh, nice! This could be it! Oh, he's getting tagged! Both guys landing big shots. Trouble here. Oh. Nice uppercut. Look at that. Wow. Good defense here, Joe, as the hook to the head is blocked. Constantly a moving target. Oh. He got hurt very, very badly. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice jab. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Shale Sonnen getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. Nice uppercut. Sonnet gets tagged again. He better fix the defense here and quickly. Just missed with the left there. All right, that's the end of round number two.
All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. Big round. Ariane Celeste doing her thing as usual. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and... Oh! oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Punch coming. It's blocked. He's blocking almost all these shots. How about that chin? Punch is blown. Well, you've got to love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and seemingly not. Oh, he tagged him with the left. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Yeah, looks oh, a little on his feet. Back to his feet again. Amazing. He hurt him with that hook. He tagged him with that right hand. Oh, he hurt him again! Oh, another one! Oh, he got tagged! He got tagged! He's in a lot of trouble. Boy, Ty clinch now, Joe. A lot of damage can be done here. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. And they separate. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. He got tagged there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different. He tagged him again. He's hurt. He's got... Oh, he hurt him again. Shotgun is going to let his opponent stand up here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Tying him up here in the clinch. And they move out of the clinch. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Souza. So unguarded right into the pocket. And as such, he leans. Oh! Oh! oh big big jab. Jab. Wow, look at that. That's Unbelievable. it. TKO. And he gets the TKO and is a result of a large volume of strikes. Just kept throwing bombs all night long and finally got the victory. Back inside the arena.